there's been a lot of things on your TikTok about reality shifting, but I honestly don't know too much about it. Could you expand upon that for me? Yeah, so basically, so there's different types of uh, like definitions of reality shifting. It's also been called things like quantum jumping, quantum leaping. Yeah. For me, what it is, is being able to shift our conscious attention to a version of reality different to this one, and then moving into that reality. There's different ways of doing that, and it gets very complicated when you bring in like timelines and the multiverse and things like that. So what I'm trying to do is shift towards just a very basic kind of definition of it where you just, similar to manifestation and law of attraction, where you just decide on a reality you want to experience, a version of yourself, let's say, or um, a lifestyle, social circle, like something that you want to experience. And then you just kind of live in that, but in the present moment. So you just almost like you're not pretending, but you're kind of acting as if you're that person. And then those things will manifest in your life now. So, and I've, I've heard this from manifestation coaches and like all kinds of different uh, people who use manifestation. It's, and I, so I think it is a real thing. Like I think you can change your reality in that way. 100%. And I, f I feel like um, where a lot of the people feel like um, the confusion comes from, like I feel like this is definitely a slow, gradual process. Like um, people who, uh, you know, start going, oh, um, oh, if I just, you know, manifest, I'm going to be a billionaire, but you know, don't do anything about it and they've waited, you know, 10 days. That like, obviously is not going to happen. But if you start at a point where you just ma manifest in, you know, small amounts of money, like consistently, you will get to that point where eventually you have reality shifted into, you know, becoming a billionaire. But it, it is just a gradual and slow process that... Mm. Because I feel, I feel like a lot of um, this simulation, the, w the way it works um, is you put something into the simulation, you know, through the choices that you make, and then the, the, the matrix opens up doors for you. And then, um, but through going through more and more choices, more and more do doors open for you within the simulation, you know, like we were saying before, your free will expands for you to have more opportunities and more realities to shift to. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think what the problem is a lot of people don't decide what they actually want in their life. So they they just kind of get drift, they drift around, get influenced by these different things, society, their friends, parents, media. And then because they're not deciding what they want to experience, they just experience kind of a bit of everything or what their parents tell them to or what society says they should do. But then if you actually just stop that and decide what you want to experience, like where you want your life to be, what you want to do that you actually i feel like you actually have more control than you think about over that 100 percent. like it is cheesy but like genuinely in this world if you put your mind to it if you believe in anything like that is the age hold um like law of attraction whatever you believe comes to you isn't it like yeah and all possibilities are open in this world it's just about getting to that level of consciousness that you can achieve those dreams exactly